Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's Mind today. What are the requirements for cross corridor pairs and smoke barriers in I2 occupancies? That's more than a mouthful. But that's a great question. Come on in and let's check it out. I2 occupancies are healthcare, predominantly hospitals and nursing homes, and they get a lot of exceptions. I will be basing my answer using references from IBC 2018. Other additions are similar. Always consult your state and local codes as well. Chapter seven is features of fire protection. And 709.5 openings in a smoke barrier shall be protected in accordance with section 716 with this exception. In groups I-1, condition two, and group I-2 and ambulatory care facilities, where a pair of opposite swinging doors are installed across a corridor in accordance with section 709.5.1, the door shall not be required to be protected in accordance with section 716. That means that a 20 minute fire rating is not required, but some manufacturers of doors will still put a 20 minute label on it as long as everything else they can accomplish. Louvers are prohibited because these are smoke rated doors and we don't want smoke going up and down the corridor. The doors need to be close fitting one eighth of an inch maximum at the top, plus or minus a sixteenth for metal, eighth of an inch vertical, and at the meeting style, again, plus or minus a sixteenth on hollow metal, with no more than three quarters of an inch clearance at the bottom of the door. An astragal or rabbit at the meeting style, no mullion of any kind, but these are cross corridor double egress doors, so that makes sense. Factory or field applied label protection plates are not required. They're not required to be labeled. They can still be, an armor plate could still be used on this door, even though it's above the 16 inches. And the one that always gets people, positive latching devices are not required. So those cross corridor smoke barrier doors that normally were 20 minute fire rated, separating two smoke compartments or two or more smoke compartments, they have never needed to be positive latching, but manufacturers of doors were not sure exactly how to approach the labeling of such a door. This example of the label is from Curry's. They say that it's a 20 minute fire door construction and it's only specifically for double egress cross corridor doors for that application where positive latching is not required. So it's up to the door and hardware manufacturers listing, but the code is very specific and says positive latching devices are not required as long as the door manufacturers published listing can accommodate that. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Osablo Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can connect with me on LinkedIn for updates or you can email code questions to katherine.flower at osavoy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.